like they went to heaven already. They went to heaven already. You know what I mean? Rappers and all that. Oh, he's in heaven looking down on us. Yes. You don't know what this could have did. Oh, <laughs> oh, you mean you, you don't mean, know what your that, grandmother? That, my grandmother that, might your be Your grandmother could have set up to get killed and didn't even tell you. But you, you just know as old grandma. She's not going to tell you that. So what I'm trying to tell you is that she might not even. Everybody got to get judged. Everybody, regardless if you like it or not. Right. The babies, the, the people that don't get judged is the ones that was like that might have died when they. Mm. Uh, he was cursing a lot. Um, so <laughs> um, now, Ghost, uh, he is not a Christian. No, he's Muslim. Um, but it was interesting his his angle on this, and it's kind of what we just talked about with Kanye. Do a lot of people believe that everybody that you like, every celebrity that you like, everybody that you think is a good person is going to heaven? Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> I think so. You remember Gilly the Kid was talking about like his when the son. one yeah he's like his son he said man you better off going to jail because once you go to heaven you can't you can't come back it, he said that as if hell wasn't even an option mm. and I know a lot of people especially different winds of doctrine I don't even believe hell exists mm. This, mm. like David Banner one of the big people that say why would God make hell why would he do this why would he, why would he send you to hell this and that so a lot of folks don't believe in the hell. Um, so it's like nobody wants to believe that they're bad enough to go to a place like that. Mm -hmm. They don't want to. Mm -hmm. They don't want to accept the depravity of man that needs a savior. It's like I do good. I give. I give the charity. I do this. I do that. I don't deserve hell. Nobody deserves hell. What does anybody do beside beside be a pedophile or a murderer or something like that to go to hell? Nobody wants to face that fact. Mm. Yeah, my Uber well, driver said hell didn't exist. I was talking to one. No, Lyft. My Lyft driver, he said, hell doesn't exist and heaven is a state of consciousness. Mm. I was like, okay, well, let's let's turn to Revelation. <laughs> drop, me, drop me off right here. <laughs> Pull over. <laughs> uh, no, I read it to him. We talked about it. Oh, wow. That's dope. Mm -hmm. What did he but, say? It was, what did he say? He it's hard to deny something that's literally black and white. Down, yeah, and he yeah. tried to cut me off. And I was like, no, 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 we're going we gonna to read this. Because um, he tried to redefine heaven. And I was like, no, heaven is a religious word. So we're not going to create another definition for it. This mm -hmm. is literally what it means. And this is what it is. But I do think him hearing it, because that was an interesting um, chapter to look through, where it really described like the majesty and how it's made of all of these precious stones yeah. and these mm -hmm. glass and this gold and I, it, it did stick with him I could see that and it was something for him to think about mm. yeah. wow <laughs> um, man this is it concerns me that um, again I think we've been really harping on cultural Christianity this year mm -hmm. this is another mark of it where you I'm gonna say you think you're a Christian because maybe your mom went to church your dad took you to church stuff like that but you miss like the core of the gospel mm -hmm. <clears throat> the gospel is all of sin falling short of the glory of God. Everybody deserves to go to hell. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Not it's not like some people or the people yeah. you don't like yeah. or nobody. It's everybody, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's everybody. like you got it you got it flipped a little bit backwards. The expectation is hell, not not heaven. He rescued rescued you from that, right? right? Yeah. And it cost him his life. It wasn't like just like, mm, "All right, you guys come." You know? Yeah. It, it was it took everything from him. So I just I can't understand why we keep missing the point. I the reason is is because it's hard to tell somebody you want your, your son or your your daughter yeah. or your favorite such and such may not be in heaven. Except, except for the pastor on that um that black div on, on <laughs> divorcing the black. Finally yeah. watched it. I was like, hey, they spitting right now. <laughs> they spitting. Um, but it, it's just it's just a little. It, it's hard to say that to somebody because it's it sounds mean. Mm -hmm. But it's like be, especially because there's nothing they could do about it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. you can't go like, oh, so let me talk to him. It's like no, it's done. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think people realize how serious this is. But I I think it's just a reframing of. I don't think you understand. The Bible says that that is the default that is you all have sinned like the mm -hmm. punishment for sin is death death is permanent the only reason it's not permanent is because jesus can bring you back from the dead yeah right mm -hmm. so i just i just hope that everybody understands what this really is about this is not like a cultural thing yeah. this is not a religious mm -hmm. things this is this is 
the story of the world. We're living in God's yeah. story. Mm -hmm. And he sent his son to die on a cross to pay for your sins so that you could be saved from hell. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not like most people or all people are going to heaven and maybe some people are going to hell. Yeah. It's all of us are destined there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, this is really and it, hopefully it will get people who are really Christians to Hey, we gotta go. Yeah. Like, yeah. we can't be playing time. around That's on the right. show. We can't yeah. be playing around while we at work. We can't be playing yeah. around. Like, this is serious. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. gotta tell people about Jesus. Yeah, because and, legitimately yeah. so, like you said, because um, that was a sobering thing for me as well. And what really motivates me through evangelism is having the understanding that there are so many good people. You know, culturally, like, man, you good people. It's so many good people <laughs> in this world, but good don't get you in. Mm. So like that's a motivation for me. It's like, do y'all know about Jesus? I, I just gotta at least throw it out there, plant as many seeds as I can, because that's the truth. You're not going to heaven, and even if you are a believer, you're living in willful sin. The Bible says that you will not make it into heaven. Unrepentant sin. Yeah. Unrepentant sin. You gotta confess. You gotta repent. You gotta change your ways. Like you gotta live a life submitted unto Christ. And it is a hard saying. It is a hard truth. But it is the truth. And that's love is walking in true love is telling you the truth. Yeah, that's right. I think the thing that really hit me, I was at a, um, I think a Braves game. The whole stadium was packed. And somebody asked me a question. How many people you think in this stadium know Jesus for real? Mm. And you got thousands of people in the stadium. And you can, you can, you don't really know the heart of man, but let's say you would have estimated if, if, if half of the people in the stadium didn't know Jesus or didn't have a genuine relationship with Christ, where they would be going. And I think for a believer, if you can look at that possibility, that should give you an urgency, like we always say with your platform or what you're doing, yeah. to at least mention it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, to at least say something. Because people, you're walking by people every day that are perishing, that are that are on their way to hell. And if you believe you got the best thing that you can ever have as a relationship yeah. with Christ, why not share that with everyone? Why would you just sit by the wayside and just allow somebody to just go to hell without at least mentioning Jesus? You know, that that's a gut yeah. check because... The truth is, if that doesn't stir you up, then maybe you aren't. Mm. That, I saw this really, really good meme quote that was talking about like the value system. Because um, when you have something, if we have the winning lottery numbers, that's like a billion dollars, and you have the ability to give everybody a ticket, you're going to give everybody the ticket. Be like, yo, here's a million dollars. Mm -hmm. So it was like, but you have the gift of life. You have Jesus. So like, you have to literally scale where's the gospel on your value system, yeah. mm -hmm. and that should motivate you to share it with everybody else. That's why we have conversations like this on the show because there's there's a lot of awesome creative believers that are out there that are leading companies that are high positions in their jobs that are have dreams of being a director or an artist or whatever. You guys are have the ability to influence culture. Yeah. That's why we challenge each other and that's why we challenge y'all so much is because we don't want you going into a place of influence and kind of lollygagging, mm -hmm. creating entertainment and not taking the advantage that you have to tell people about Jesus. Yeah. Like this is not a game, this is, this is serious, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and this is a good reminder, this topic was a good reminder for me, even somebody that's not even a Christian, to, to remind you to get back in the game is like yeah. this even for Ghostface we need to tell him the truth yeah yeah because yeah. he, he has he has a partial truth yeah. that's not it's, it's yeah. not there's no earning salvation there's no being good enough for yeah. it it right. works it's, you can't yeah, yeah. you yeah. can't no one is good enough for we it, need right? it in the church as well because a lot of people with quote unquote within the body who have a, a, a bad understanding of, of Christ and heaven and hell yeah and it's just bad teaching um a lack of discipleship like we always say um a lack of just really devotion to scripture and really understanding in context. Yeah. Like we have resources, it's 2024. The days of man, I don't understand. I mean, yeah. you really can't use that <laughs> yeah, no you more. Gotta like, take the time. Yeah. We got 20 different translations at least. You got concordances, yeah. you got all kind of translations. You got Google, you got whatever you need to try yeah. to get some you kind of understanding. You got questions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got every like, question on there. Yeah. So yeah. It's, yeah. how important is it to you? Like, yeah. yeah. If you I want this, you're going to get it. I do think it. I do think people fear rejection. I think people do fear fear man and fear rejection of if I'm on a job and these people are having a spiritual conversation and if I tell them my stance, I, I could lose my job. Or if I tell them my stance, they won't be my friends at my job no more or X, Y, Z. And I, I think for stuff like that, I think the best thing to tell is to that person is, one, pray mm -hmm. before you go in there. And then two, understand that this is an eternal yeah. situation you know what I mean and mm -hmm. ask God to give you the confidence to speak because yeah. sometimes that's what that's what some people yeah. need because I think sometimes people just don't have that confidence 
and they're not trusting in the Holy Spirit's power to mm -hmm. give them the right words to say. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I think sometimes we just have to do that and um, honestly stop being fearful because at the end of the day, man, I remember years ago, like we talked about in youth ministry, we did this sketch where these, where these girls was like, um, knew this guy at their school and then tell them about like whatever, whatever, um, whatever concert it's was. Like walking uh, in the background. Yeah, I know. Like, hey, hold on. Uh, <laughs> what it was about and um, yeah man it's, 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 it's real man it's yeah. real in there yeah the Bible says perfect love cast out all fear so like in that you gotta trust like you said that the Holy Spirit which we know in John said he doesn't even speak on his own accord but of you know of God you just really gotta trust in the spiritual things that God is gonna be able to lead you just <laughs> open your mouth sorry we was like, about to call security <laughs> because <laughs> in that that lift um conversation it was four and a half hours and mind you it started at he picked me up from the airport at like 12 30 at night so i was like exhausted could barely think but i was like you know what lord whatever you have to say and i just maintained that the whole time That's and good. it literally will come to you that's and like not good. only did that conversation minister to him it ministered to me so even things like the concept of heaven i remember um i was able the holy spirit was able to define it saying that heaven is literally where god's god resides yeah. yes. yeah. that's where yeah. his presence resides yep. so when they say let's bring god's presence here on earth they're saying let's usher him and bring him down here with us yeah like in worship and Facts. stuff like that and that came together mm -hmm. for me and i was like look at that amen yeah. that's important yeah. what you said though to be led by the spirit because often like sometimes God will lead you to say something, but then when you start seeing you get a reaction, then that flesh will come in. Yeah. So now you don't talk so much past what God told you to say. You don't ruin the whole moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like so I think I think it's important that you be led and say like cause some like some plant some water, but God provide the increase. We got a lot of believers who want to provide the increase and they want to keep on talking. You want to talk somebody into salvation today. Mm. That might not be your job. Yeah. Just be mm -hmm. obedient and My be led, spirit. and that's for anybody. Whether you confident or you not, yeah. make yeah. sure you led in what you're saying before yeah. you speak. And if that you don't have scripture, I'll say use your testimony, use yeah. what God did oh, yeah. for you, mm -hmm. Man. and just I think sometimes people forget that scripture that talks about you. People overcome like mm -hmm. by telling the, blood of the lamb, lamb and the power of your testimony. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And just tell your testimony, you know what I mean, and just say like, yo, I don't know everything. I just know that you know Jesus saved me. Blah blah blah. And you know, without him, my life was was this way. You know what I mean? And just be like, you know, I'm learning the word as more. I, I'm and even and sometimes, sometimes you may even get that pushback even with that. But just be like, I know my experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you right there, if you start and just to start right there, if you don't, if you if you're still growing and if you're new to the faith and you're still growing and you're still reading the Bible and you're starting that and you just like, I don't know where to go. I've been reading the Bible, but I just don't know where to take. You know what I'm saying? I just need. I just want to witness to people because I know what God did for me. Right. Yeah. 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 Get and busy. Get busy. Y'all get busy. We need, we need to we need to get rededicated to spreading the gospel. I think we've we've kind of gotten distracted with trying to build our empires a little bit, trying to you know mm -hmm. become popular, become you know influential instead of just doing what He said. So yeah. spread the gospel, make Thanks. disciples.